Is it just rumors or reality? What is the secret of the rumors and controversy around the North Pole? What about the reports of witnesses who saw strange bodies and creatures? They claim that they do not look like us. Is it possible that Hitler really escaped to the North Pole or to a parallel world? In our video today, we will reveal many secrets and shed the light on the most mysterious topics. So, stay with us. Hello, and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing why the North Pole is hidden, and some interesting facts and figures about the North Pole and Antarctica. So let's get started with the video. Russians found meteorites in 2016. Because they are more noticeable on or near the surface in Antarctica than everywhere else on Earth. Meteorites are easier to gather there. They are undoubtedly easier to obtain than sending spacecraft out to collect samples. They allowed scientists to learn secrets about objects throughout the solar system without leaving Earth. From December 20th to January 10th, this first Russian mission in modern times to search for meteorites in Antarctica took place in a region of blue ice in Queen Maud Land. Images of the Arctic Ocean typically feature ships passing through icebergs that have broken apart. On a map, however, the North Pole seems to outline the coasts of Russia, Canada, and Greenland. With the sizable blank area of white signifying the shrinking northern ice cap, Google always hides information because they don't want the general public to know about it. They have covered all of Greenland in white snow to conceal the north. But if you look at historical references and empirical data, the north is not an ice cap. However, inside an ice wall is a massive, slippery black rock, encircled by four continents and separated by four rivers. It is known that any ship carrying iron on board is prohibited from leaving the region. There are several references that, in my opinion, attest to the fact that this black rock is magnetic. The northernmost point on Earth is the North Pole. It is the precise location where the Earth's axis and surface converge. Scientists and explorers find it challenging and expensive to investigate the North Pole, since it is covered in drifting ice. It is challenging to set up equipment because there isn't land or a location for permanent facilities. The North Pole, according to Mercator, was identified by a massive black magnetic rock. Well, that would certainly explain why all compasses point north, wouldn't it? A huge magnetic rock located precisely at the North Pole? Unfortunately, the terrifying magnet described in the latter is black and gleaming, and high as the clouds, is an overly imaginative explanation for the occurrence of magnetism. Because, even in the late 16th century, seamen frequently discovered that as they got closer to true north, their compasses began to vary more. International Polar Year, also known as IPY, introduced this March, appears to have lost some of its initial buzz. I suggest adding some spice with the solid conspiracy idea. Fortunately, one is described in a recent study in Polar Record. Some claim that the Nazis built a secret facility in Antarctica, where they relocated Hitler after the war and repelled American military task teams and British special forces by shooting down US aircraft with flying saucers. In the 1950s, the Americans eventually used nuclear weapons to demolish the base. Since then, several governments have made an effort to hide this. This makes it unnecessary to make the anticipated Antarctic explorations under the aegis of IPY, an initiative called Exploring Antarctic Dry Valleys in Preparation for Mars Landings is visible after a brief search on the website that this could be a mission to collect Nazi artifacts or technology seems hardly any less implausible. This conspiracy theory is based on facts, just like all good conspiracy theories should. In 1938-39, a German expedition traveled to Antarctica. During the conflict, there were covert British military activities in Antarctica. The German submarine U-530 showed up at the Argentine naval base of Mar del Plata in July 1945, two months after VE Day. 
The following month, U-977 followed suit. With 4,700 soldiers and 13 ships, the U.S. military organized Operation High Jump, the largest ever Antarctic expedition from 1946 to 47. Additionally, three nuclear explosions in the Southern Hemisphere were conducted in 1958. However, they weren't kept a secret. Let's discuss aliens in Antarctica now. Is it a coincidence that so many important alien movies are filmed in Antarctica? To begin with, The X-Files, The Thing, and all of its methods or process. Alien vs Predator, I can't entirely agree. Or is it just a coincidence that so many bases in Antarctica resemble extraterrestrial spacecraft? For instance, the Princess Elizabeth Station in Belgium is eerily similar to the Jupiter 2 from Lost in Space. You may find out more about it by searching Google. And while you're online, you will undoubtedly see an article that states that U.S. presidential hopeful John Kerry visited Antarctica to expose hidden Nazi UFO camps there in 2017. Additionally, Buzz Aldrin, an astronaut from Apollo 11, had to be rescued from the South Pole after alerting authorities of an alien presence there. Shocking, but accurate. Under Greenland's ice sheet, certain leaf and twig fossils are found to be well preserved. Fascinating scientists and expiring additional research. The perfectly preserved leaves and twigs discovered within the recovered ice cores were the subjects of a study carried out and documented by an international team of researchers under the title Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The fact that these plants are still alive suggests that there was once vegetation in the area that has since been covered by ice. According to CNET, this means that within the last million years, enough of Greenland must have been free of ice. Scientist Andrew Christ has referred to the preservation of these materials as a time capsule. Ice sheets generally obliterate and destroy everything in their path. But he continues that what we saw were intricate plant structures. Despite being fossils, they appear to have died just yesterday. These findings can help scientists predict how Greenland's ice sheet will respond when temperatures arise. The ice melts due to human activities, which might provide considerable insight into climate change. According to CNET, it can almost help determine how long the ice sheet will take to melt completely, which will harm sea levels all over the planet. Because prior ice sheet melting occurred before the addition of human greenhouse gases and emissions, Scientists are guessing how vulnerable Greenland may be due to human-induced climate change. As sea levels rise, the ice will melt more quickly, with significant consequences for the globe and its coastal neighbors. Paul Byerman, the lead scientist, was adamant about the issue at hand, stating that this is not a 20-generation problem. This will be a pressing issue for the next 50 years. The Environmental Protocol of the Antarctic Treaty, sometimes known as the Madrid Protocol, was enacted into law in each member nation's respective legislatures in 1998. This partially safeguards Antarctica by limiting access to the continent to citizens of member countries who have been granted a permit. The visitor's agreement to follow specific regulations and rules is a requirement for issuing a license. Each country's laws differ in the finer points, but they are comparable in the fundamental ways they maintain the Antarctic Treaty. Anyone found guilty in the UK faces a maximum sentence of two years in prison, a fine or both, and they may also be prohibited from visiting Antarctica in the future. Similar rules exist in other Antarctic Treaty signatory countries. These rules are derived from the Antarctic Treaty itself not national laws. If people from such nations break any of these restrictions, they will be arrested and subject to legal consequences in their home country when they return. Suppose a nation's citizen has not signed the Antarctic Treaty and violates any of its provisions. In that case, that person may be prosecuted under the country's laws that have authority over the region of Antarctica where the violation occurred. So. That is all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Tell us about your opinion. Do you agree? What do you think about the facts I presented? Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.